All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me today. We're going to install Omarchi Linux. I've heard a lot of things about this. Some people love it, some people hate it. It's very polarizing, but today I'm gonna to show you how to install it in a virtual machine, and we're gonna go through a little bit of its features and what it has to offer. So let's go ahead and get started here. So first step, step one, obviously download the ISO. All right, omarchi.org, there it is right there. This is where you get the ISO. Click on ISO here and download it. I obviously already have it because I did this already, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the virtual machine now. All right, we're gonna start a new virtual machine, local install, browse, and it is in my downloads files, and it is omarchi, choose the volume. It doesn't detect it, so I'm just gonna call it Linux and Linux 2024. And I'm gonna give this guy 16 megs of RAM, gigabytes of RAM, sorry, and four cores. And we're gonna go ahead and use 25 gigabytes of disk space. See how this works out. Um, yeah, finish, that's it, boom, boom. And that's it, look at that, already up in this piece. All right, so Omarchi install medium. We're gonna go ahead and do that. And there we are, look at that. That is that, and that is that. So Omarchi is starting up now, typical. So we're gonna do English, keyboard layout. My username is gonna be Aaron. Password is also gonna be Aaron. Uh, password is Aaron. Full name, skip. Email address, skip. Host name, it's just gonna be Omarchi, so we're gonna skip that. I'm in the Los Angeles time zone. Yes, all that looks correct. Install there. Yes, format the disk and boom, installing Omarchi Linux. This will take a little bit, maybe about five to seven minutes, depending on the speed of your computer. And after that, we have Omarchi Linux. Boom, we're in. This is Omarchi Linux. Um, click to update the system. Normally I would hit yes on that, but I'm actually not gonna do that right now. I'm going to go into, let's see what Super K does. The cheat sheet, huh. Not much of a cheat sheet there. Let's see, um, super space for application launcher. Let's just, uh, so we're gonna go ahead and open up the, so these are all the apps that come loaded on Omarchi Linux. And this is the real divisive part because Omarchi Linux is like Arch Linux, but it comes with apps already loaded on it. So I've got this password, other, looks like a paint program. Alacrity is a terminal that I hear really good things about. Let's go ahead and open up Alacrity. Um, yes. So this is Alacrity, um, Fast Fetch is loaded on it already. Um, so, okay, we're gonna exit that. We're gonna go ahead and open up that again. So look, uh, Basecamp, don't know what that is. Bluetooth, calculator, chat G GPT is loaded on this already. Chromium, the web browser. I was actually looking for Chromium earlier. Um, so we'll go ahead and go like, uh, we'll do this. And then we'll do sudo pacman install Firefox. That's Firefox. Uh, I'm gonna cancel that. Cancel that. All right. Try that again. Uh, Firefox. Okay. Here is my password. Huh? Oh yeah. Duh. <laughs> I forgot. This is Arch based. Sudo pacman dash s Firefox. Uh, SY, okay. Mm. There we go, okay. Too many distributions in my mind. All right. Boom, opened up Firefox, opened up a window, another window, another window. So that's the tiling manager there. You got, I'm gonna, no. Get, I just want all this to get out of here. No, do not continue with the update, uh, close you. Excellent. All right, so here's Firefox on a little window. You can close it with Super W. Super W closes windows. I wonder if NeoFetch is on here or if it's just Fast Fetch. Yeah, it's just Fast Fetch nowadays. Perfect. Comes loaded with Fuzzy Find, which is cool. Uh, fuzzy Find Home. There's nothing in here. Oh, yeah. Uh, fuzzy Find Home. And yeah, so that's fuzzy find. It comes loaded with that. I'm gonna go ahead and exit that. And we're gonna take a look at what it comes with again. 
So Chromium, Discord is loaded already on it, Docker, um, some other things, Firefox, I just downloaded that, GitHub is loaded already, some Google stuff is loaded in here. So it's sort of like um, an Arch Linux that's just loaded already with stuff, and I don't know if I necessarily like that myself, because I kind of want to, yeah, sure, I use Linux Mint, but I also kind of want to... Um, I want to put the programs on myself. I don't kind of want some random setup. Like, sure, I use Mint, but then I delete a bunch of programs, and then I end up just putting what I want on it anyway. And it doesn't. It did not come loaded with a bunch of stuff like that. Actually, it did come loaded with. Um, I think Firefox was the web browser, but like, it didn't have like this thing. Just goes. Uh, let's exit that wrong one. Exit. Um, this comes loaded with YouTube, which just takes you right to YouTube. I don't even think this is in a web browser. This is just like straight up YouTube in a window, which is cool. Um, but also, you know, I just like using it in a web browser and like, sure, Tiling Window Manager, awesome. Uh, sudo pacman hstop. Yes. Love HTOP. All the processes. So this is the virtual machine. So this is cool. You got your tiling window manager here, and you can switch between them with the arrow keys like this. And then you can switch between the workspaces by hitting super one, two, three, four, five. I don't know if it goes to six. It looks like it does not go to six. Um, so that's cool. Um, some people really love the tiling window manager uh, setup. I kind of like it too. It's very fast. Um, I kind of set my Linux Mint up to kind of work in the same way too. I use workspaces um, and then I have everything kind of set up on the sides as well. So this is the Omarchi manual. Um, you could look through this to really get started and learn how to move around because the, the hotkeys aren't as intuitive as they normally are. They're kind of a little bit different. Super Space does something so that's kind of like Finder and Mac. You have all the hotkeys right here. Um, NeoVim, love NeoVim, it's loaded into it already. Yeah, so it's kind of like Arch um, Lite for people that don't want to do the full install themselves. And I kind of think the cool thing about the full Arch install is that you kind of learn a little bit of Linux, or a lot of Linux, sort of like just installing the thing and getting it to work. This kind of takes a little bit of that fun out of it for you. Um, fonts are already ex installed. You don't have to really configure anything. So that is Omarchi Linux in a nutshell. We just installed it in a virtual machine. Virtual machine took about five minutes. Um, not that much time really to do that. So, all right, well, let me know what you guys think about Omarchi Linux in the comments below. Divisive, would you try it? Would you download it? Would you run it in a virtual machine? Would you run it as a daily driver? What distribution of Linux do you use? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.